Welcome to 2023, and the theme of this year is All In. In 2022, you saw me renting mountain bikes for the rental bike series, but this year it's time to start making investments. So one thing I learned almost immediately in the rental bike series, right in episode one, first day, first minute, was the need for a bike rack. And the reason being is that I picked up my bike down in Fernie and I only needed to drive a few hundred meters up the road to the trailhead. But to do that, I had to remove the front wheel, flip up the back seat in the truck, load the bike in there with the pedals, trying not to damage the vehicle, which I ended up doing later in the year manage a greasy axle and it was a huge pain in the butt especially when i needed to redo the process all over again so this year we've made the investment in a bike rack and if you've clicked on this video and you just want to know whether or not the kuat piston pro x is the best bike rack on the market i can save you the time and in my opinion it is however that's not to say it's perfect and as somebody who's hugely passionate about product design this video is kind of a love letter to kuat so that from a user's perspective, we can bring forth some improvements that I'd like to see in the future. So without further ado, let's get into it. So this is it. This is the Kuat Piston Pro X in the two bike carrier, and this is going to be my bike rack moving forward. If you saw my holiday gift ideas for mountain bikers video, then you know there was a lot of features that I really liked about this. Most especially, if we flip it down, there are two points of contact that secure the actual bike to the rack itself. Traditionally, a lot of bike racks use a single arm over the front wheel or fork area and a simple tie down strap in the back. However, my preferred means of traveling is in the rooftop tent. It is the most affordable way for me to be away from home for extended periods of time. And with the rooftop tent, I like to try to get into areas that are more remote and wilderness and natural. And so that often means driving up really rough roads. Heck, even my local area here has an incredibly rough approach road. So having that dual point of contact was a big feature for me specifically. Moreover, if you have a 29 inch wheel bike or a 700C like we have here, all the way down to a 20 inch BMX bike like this, the Piston Pro X is going to be able to accommodate that all in one rack simply just by raising and lowering these attachment points here. So one feature that I mentioned in that holiday gift ideas for mountain bikers video is the ability for actually you to move and stagger the bikes. On traditional bike racks, there's a defined front tire tray or groove in that fixed position, and that's to help orient it with the locking arm. In the back is where the tie down strap goes, and that's often movable in relation to the wheelbase of the bike. However, that often means that bikes are lined up with their cranks in the same spot, and that can run into issues in terms of fitment for various size bikes where the handlebars and the cranks may line up in different places. So one thing that you can do with this rack that's really unique is if we unlock it, we can actually roll the bike forward into one position and we can come back here. We can lock it in there and now the bike has shifted forward. So if I was to come in and put my BMX bike in the train behind it, I can move it all the way down to the other way as to avoid any handlebar interference with that seat. I just simply need to adjust the wheel height clamp. Clamp it down. And we're good to go. So bike racks are now quickly becoming an investment piece. Kuat racks in particular start at $899 Canadian and this 
Kuat Piston Pro X in the two bike configuration you see here is $1,799. So it is very expensive. In the interest of a buy once, cry once, it would be nice to think that you could buy the best rack that you possibly can so that you have the best longevity. And in order to maintain longevity, the Piston Pro X is actually made with 99% full metal construction. And so that to me says that it is most likely going to last a long time as opposed to maybe plastic parts that might be UV sensitive or heat sensitive or just impact, uh, less impact resistant than metal. Um, I like the idea that with 99% metal construction, this rack is likely gonna last me a really long time. So as I mentioned in that holiday gift ideas video, one of my favorite features about the Piston Pro X are these two brake lights. And the reason being is that bike racks are universal products. And so the actual bikes mounted to them, two or especially four, can and do interfere with your vehicle's brake lights. So while these are not DOT approved brake lights, what they do is they help move that visual field of view further back to the end of your vehicle to help assist motorists behind you from recognizing where the rear of your vehicle is. I honestly can't think of anything worse than being rear-ended with my expensive bike rack and my expensive bikes on the back. So let's talk about some of the things I'm not impressed about. And we're going to start right here on the actual arms. Now, despite in Kuat's brochures, the rear arm actually does not have any of the wheel size indicators that we see here on the front arm. It does make finding which hole relatively difficult. It's easy to see here when they're side by side, but when you close down the arm like this, then that means you're trying to count down the number of holes, turn 90 degrees and reference which specific spot it is to ensure that this bracket is located in the correct place. I genuinely have no idea why Kuat has chosen to do this because it makes it much more difficult to actually use the rack efficiently. efficiently. So taking a look at the end of the rack, we know that there is this nice magnetically integrated Allen key here that fits in. And you can purchase a additional one bike tray or two bike trays to go on the back of this. However, there is not the ability to buy a one bike tray and then install another one bike tray. You need to know in advance whether you are going to ever carry three or four bikes but it gets worse. The first is that the one bike tray is $969 Canadian and the two bike tray is $1,649 Canadian. And that only represents a savings of about $289 Canadian if you get the two bike tray. So not only are you sort of forced to know, um, you know, sort of plan your life in advance, whether you want one or two more bike carrying capacity, but there's no real financial savings if you were thinking, oh, maybe I'll just hedge and get that two bike tray so that I'm covered in the future. Not only that, but as mentioned, they're very, very expensive. In fact, the two bike add-on is almost the same as the entire bike assembly itself. Now, granted, there is the addition of um, another brake light or pair of brake lights, I should say, which is nice to see. However, knowing that there's a lot more material to it, it doesn't really feel like that good of a deal. So one other thing that I want to point out is that these arms actually make physical contact with the rack body itself. And as mentioned in the pro section of this video, this is a 99% metal construction, which means this is metal on metal with paint. Now, please allow me to demonstrate. So if the rack is in its open position and you simply want to close it up, the arm comes down and in order to get it to come and stay in its lowest position, you need to exceed that, which 
will actually make physical contact with the rack body itself. And you can see that illustrated here. Now the spring is tough enough and strong enough that if you were driving down a bumpy road, I don't anticipate that this would make physical contact with it. But if Kuat is going to go to the trouble of having Kashima coated pistons here, it seems like a massive oversight to me that I'm hitting metal on the actual metal rack. So that's really something that I don't like. Um, there's a few solutions that you could do. So either adding a protective piece or rubberized piece on the rack body itself or similarly up here on the arm. I think probably the rack body would be the best solution. So now we need to talk about aesthetics. So Kuat has added this really nice gloss black on matte black applique, and it looks really elegant and really premium with this type of rack. It's also consistent, again, with all of the product photos in the brochure and on the website. However, what Kuat has also done is they have added this white paint on Kuat logo here as well. And if you're wondering why they've done this, I suspect that some marketing person somewhere realized that as beautiful as that is, when the bike rack is flipped down, you won't be able to see it. However, by printing this logo on the edge here, that way you'll be able to see it on both the upright and folded down position. And quite honestly, it just cheapens the whole rack. Now, if I could plead to Kuat, please remove this. And the simple reason being is the Piston Pro X is the only bike rack with integrated brake lights. So even if I am driving down the road, it, yes, you won't be able to see the Kuat applique down there, but any reasonable bike shop is going to be able to tell you that it's the Piston Pro X with the integrated brake lights. This is not needed and it, if anything detracts from the rest of the product. So here's a scenario for you. You've just finished riding at your local hill and had an awesome day, and now you're ready to drive back home. So you load your bike up, and all you're going to do is drive straight from the trailhead right into your driveway. No stopping for groceries or a coffee or anything. When you're driving home, all that dust on your forest service roads or your access roads is going to fall directly into this port here, which is where your cable lock attaches to. Now, anyone who's ever had to use some cable locks like this style, like the bicycle locks, can tell you that um, they need to be lubricated appropriately and dust and dirt into this port, in my opinion, should be strongly avoided. However, there's no little cap or flap that um, is able to cover this port. So, you know, tools like this with the magnetic hole and all that stuff, that's nice, but when the port to actually, the security and safety mechanism is not protected, it just seems like the priorities may have been put in the wrong place. So for future iterations, what I'd like to see is a little fold cap that could come in and close this port up so that when it's not being used, it is covered and protected for future use. Now, last but not least, we're going to take a look at the electrical connectors on the back of this rack because there is an issue here as well. Now, taking a look at the back of the rack is where we're going to see the electrical connector right here, which not only powers but operates the turn signals and brake lights for the rack's lights itself. However, you can see that they've added this really nice plastic molding that supports the actual cable as it goes into the plug itself but it does so on a 90 degree or perpendicular from the rack. Now, inserting it back in, you might be wondering, well, what's wrong with that? And in its carry position, nothing. But watch what happens when we turn the rack into its stow position. That 90 degree bend 
ends up creating a really harsh angle here. And we can see that there's um, very little room for this wire to deflect. Now, it even gets worse than that because presumably, based on where I used to have the actual magnetic clips, I've actually already sustained damage to the rubber sheathing of the cable itself. It got crushed. And I'm not sure if it happened underneath this uh, door here or if it somehow got sucked up into the actual uh, mechanism. But uh, because of the way that the angles are here, um, this is already damaged and I've only had this wrap for about a month. Now I have actually spoken to Kuat about all of the issues that I've found with this rack and they did actually encourage me to send in the video once I'm done. So I think that really goes to show that Kuat is committed to actually developing um, the best products that they can and this electrical connector is something that they are aware of. I can also say that Kuat, in my experience, has excellent after sales support. So if and when this electrical connector requires replacing, whether it was damaged during normal operation uh, or simply fatigue because of the 90 degree bend that it is placed in, I have the utmost confidence that Kuat will back me up. So this just about wraps up my initial review of the Kuat Piston Pro X. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, yes, I actually do believe that this is the best bike rack on the market. The ability for you to move the bikes, the full metal construction, the security and stability and all of the things, I think this is an amazing product. However, that's not to say that this is perfect. And a lot of the things that we've discussed here in this video, like I also said, it's kind of a love letter to Kuat in that I hope that they see my passion for this product and that I do genuinely believe in it. But things like uh, laser engraving the wheel sizes on the rear arms or getting rid of this white logo, I think would make it a much better product and easier for consumers to use. So if you have any particular questions about the Piston Pro X, then please let me know in the comments down below. And if you liked what we've discussed here today, then please consider sticking around because I haven't even begun talking about the Kuat Pivot V2 that this Piston Pro X is mounted to. So thank you very much for watching. I genuinely appreciate it. You take care and bye for now.